on the A6 the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw him walking the dog the he other day. He does the yeah. ha-ha. Yeah. <laughs> Graham is the guy who used to work in the mill where we used to rehearse. Rehearse. He had a workshop next to our rehearsal. Yeah, we used to hear his laugh through the walls, didn't we, Josh? 15 feet thick walls, you'd yeah. hear him. Yeah. yeah. Too much varnish. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thank nice you. guy, though. Yeah. But yeah, how are we? The... the the year's going fast, isn't it? Yeah, for anyone who isn't Graham, how is everyone? Are we good? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good. yeah. 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 Good. Oh, no, it's all right. Basically, we just recorded that for like a minute, and we didn't know if it recorded. So, quite, quite good memory. <laughs> we yeah. did quite it, good memory. April's that was um, flying, isn't it? It is. It is. Well, yeah. What are we mid-April now? Yeah, it's your sport stag soon, isn't it? Is. It is. Act on Swan Sixth in April. When's, When's your birthday? Oh. He just said it. Then. April twenty-eighth. Right. German. I, I'm, I'm not. Um, I'm a, tor- I'm a Taurus you if you're into Swedish, that stuff, you? listeners. 31. Taurus, the boy. I, I am a Taurus. Do you know what, weirdly, this was on a podcast. I am the Eggman. <laughs> Thank well you. There was this on a podcast I was poached. listening to today, saying they were talking about star signs, and one. they were saying, like, they think it's bullshit. What, star signs? Yeah. Chuckies. We were talking about it the other day. Yeah, I don't want to, I feel like there's a big community of star signers <laughs> and astrologers, and I don't want to. No, they, they single them out there, like, it's bullshit. No, I don't want to, I don't want to. You don't want to single. I don't out. want to throw shade. Do you know what I mean? I'm just. Like, it gives people a lot of. Hey, that's what the eclipse does. <laughs> hey, okay. my auntie Chris is a big on astrology as well. I'm more of a vinyl signer. Do you know what I mean? Jesus, Jesus. that was that was, oh, that was lame. Fuck that was lame on two like two levels. Yeah, was, yeah we've yeah. been busy at the moment, haven't we? That's why the time is moving fast. We I have think. indeed. Yeah, that's it's, what we just said. It's good. It's um, been doing all sorts on the horizon. Yeah, I'm, I'm proper excited. Mm. So. Um. Yeah, anyone yeah. else excited? Yeah, but you know what does my fucking head in? Hey, yo, I've got one as well, you know. You know what does my head in? The best does my head in. You all do my head in. My, my Miles does my head in. Fucking you. Message you Oh, sweet, man. Wait, that paper. Sad that I Where's that paper that? from? The decaying money pit, which is my home. <laughs> 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 Tips for the national next week, though. <laughs> My mum's going to the National. Is she? Yeah. What is no that? Ladies' Day. Great band. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With my Jill and Mike and my What's dad. the National? No, yeah, that'd be, that'd Sorry. Be a good laugh, yeah. that. Sorry to interrupt. It's all right. It's horse racing. Horse racing. Um, you know what does my head in? And I hope you haven't, you don't remember because we did already talk about it in person, but I thought I'd remind myself by writing it down. Square pillows. <laughs> yes. Okay. We did I did raise this in person, but I was like, you know what? I won't go too into it, but... I have a uh, bodily deformity uh, <laughs> known as pectus carinatum, which is a... Um, is it diagnosed? Yeah. Fuck. Which is informally known as a pigeon chest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, you like, like pigeon like as well, you know. Let me just see if I've got the right Latin there. Hang on. Josh, if you pull your jumper really tight to, your, to, the, you, to you, the chest... You won't see it these days because I've, I've, I've put on about two stone. Oh. Um, so you can't really see it these okay, days. Good lad. You're healthy. You're healthy which is good. Now. Yeah. Yeah, but it is, alas, st- still very much deformed <laughs> underneath there. So Hang on a second. Um, so it's a good p- place to hold the mic, isn't it? Pigeon, yeah, pigeon chest. <laughs> on, the, on the pigeon chest. Yeah, yeah. Shelf. Yeah, pictus, p- pectus carinatum is a deformity of the chest wall in which the breastbone and ribs are pushed outward. Um, Did that happen, like, during, like, like in, like, the womb? No, or no. Or was it, it was, like, a post it was when I was birth? about When I was about, um, actually, it's quite a funny yet tragic story so I went I, I, I was ill as I often used to be and um, I went to the I went on to the, the diet of pasta and salt <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if I was lucky so I went to the um, my mum took me to the doctors I must have been about 10 or 11 sort of the, the you In know the start yeah start of, start of puberty-ish so I'm starting to grow a bit more rapidly, you know, in, in the skeleton at least. Yeah. And um, in the skeleton at least. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dragging this out. No, but it's, it's fine. Um, and I had a chest infection anyway, and so it was one of them where you go to the doctor, you go to the GP, but you you see a nurse rather than the actual yeah, doctor, yeah. triage, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Staphylococcus paracetamol. That kind of thing, yeah. but it's still like right, just whip whip your top off. We need to just. Um, do a stethoscope to to listen to your breathing to okay. check to see to determine whipped, how bad the whipped it off. <laughs> yeah. And uh, anyway, put the stethoscope on the back. Dead cold, horrible. Then round the front, and the nurse was going, sort of looking me up and down like that. And obviously, I'm just a, a you know an innocent child. 
And then she looks at my mum afterwards and goes, okay, yeah, it sounds like a chest infection. But I've noticed your son has a chest abnormality. <laughs> but addresses my mum and not me. How old are you? Like 10 or 11. Oh, right. So I'm there going, what the hell? <laughs> So then, then from there she's going, we're simply going to have to refer him to the chest clinic. Wow. So I had to go to the chest clinic um, and get x-rays and, and they stuff. they diagnosed it for what it was. And diagnosed it for what it was. and yeah, chest. So I, yeah. Anyway, that's a very long way of saying I have to, I have to sleep with a pillow, like, across it because yeah, I can't yeah. sleep flat on my chest because it hurts. Them, like UV pillows. Yeah. Like pregnant women have. So the hotel uh, in which we were staying... Um, for the recording great hotel dead nice and everything but fucking square pillows fucking hot as well like a fucking sauna so I could put a request in next time if it's like an actual like a medical request like fair, medical they, request they have two type. they have a square feather one and a a, a rectangular memory foam one I'm not Dude, a massive mine fan mine were two just foam. massive square oh, ones oh really yeah I had four I had like I had four two, I had two squares and two two rectangles they saw me coming wow so yeah <laughs> So if, if anyone out there has um, pectus carinatum or the opposite, which is where it goes inwards. Yeah, didn't you say you met someone and you hugged in it? A friend Steve of mine Wiles is cool. going. Steve Wiles does go in a little bit, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's diagnosed though. Just remembered there. <laughs> but yeah, it's what it is. I've also got, do you know what does my fucking head in? Please. Do you want to replay the jingle for, for a laugh? Yeah, fuck it. It's about blah, 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 blah. You know what does my head in? Do you know what does my fucking head in? Please. Go on. I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna single out waiters here, but I don't mean to, because it's sort of across the board. When they don't write down... Oh, they freestyle. They freestyle it. They think they can remember your audio, you mean? They think they can, and I'm quite a particular person. Particular? Fish oil. Fussy. Fish oil. I wouldn't say just... Fish oil. I <laughs> no, no, I, I agree. Some some levels, fussy, you'd say. You don't like certain sauces. Where'd you pull you that from? You have a fish what intolerance. What the fuck? Don't you? Magic. I've got, a, I've got a fish here. White wine. I'll fucking pull that out of your <laughs> pocket. Yeah, I've got like the fish, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. And also, you just want something a particular way sometimes, don't you? Yeah, yeah. somewhat. And it annoys me when it's not. Now... It's tight when they pull it off. Well, this is what I was going to say. But for me, it isn't worth it. It's not worth the anxiety that I have thinking from that till I actually get it. They're not going to remember that. They're not going to, or like they say, the fish thing, if they don't write anything down, I'm a bit like... Like, it's not for you, it's for them, innit? Like, yeah, it's not like you're going to be like, yes, oh, they've, well, they've remembered saying, yeah. it. It's like, exactly. it's I'm, a risk for well, this, you. This is my point. My point is when right, you get down. the meal and say they nail it, I don't get the meal and go, yes, see what I mean? I don't bore yeah, yeah, yeah. Well <laughs> done, fucking get it. You just you know want to I mean? eat, don't I'm you? I'm just like, so I don't know. Does my head, and there's a few, it's not just I, I singled out... Um, Waiting stuff there, and I used to be a waiting stuff myself. I always ri- so I'd write you're it down. Tem- terrible memory. Do you know what I mean? But even if, like, I feel like I've got quite a good memory, but it's just like, I feel like it's just because they might, they might be something you miss. I feel like it's a lacking in like a. An, and then if you did, you'd have to go back and ask, which is just more. Or awkward. people just don't say it and then just turn up. We had it the other day. We went for food and we're in uh, Liverpool. Person didn't write down the desserts. What cuisine? We went for a pizza. Oh yeah! Didn't write down didn't, the didn't did write you down desserts. desserts right at the start. No, no, no. Uh, the, I, and, and I get that it's fine, but because it because it wasn't written down, they came like well, the table behind us got our oh, desserts. Yeah, yeah. While they I, were still eating, they were like, mm. "Oh, it's doing oh, because because we were closing the kitchen." And it wasn't. It was just all a bit like mink. And I was like, there are desserts. But I was like, I'm not saying anything. And we were still waiting. And then someone came and went, would you like to order desserts? Like, we've already ordered them. So he's often not written them down, forgot or said the wrong table because she didn't write it down. Right. Do you know yeah, what I mean? So it's just the like... Writing down helps that. Just scenario. write it down. I have something similar, which I don't know if I'm at fault for this, but they said I was at fault for this. <laughs> so I've learned. But I went to... I've not been down. You know, to go for like a... Chinese cuisine. Mm. I went for one in Liverpool on my own. Nice. I've not been for like a restaurant sitting Chinese cuisine for a while. I love going for a sit-down Chinese. Because you get it as like a takeaway, don't I? Do you know what I mean? Similar with like a curry. Do you know, do you know what, what I'm, I'm saying? I'm going to go out there now. I don't think I've ever sat down at a Chinese right. meal. It's Succul- fucking boss. A succulent Chinese So I went meal. in, looked at the menu, specifically a vegan menu to make it easier, and I ordered hot and sour soup, some spring rolls, nice. and some Singapore-style vermicelli noodles. Mm. I ordered it, mm-hmm. and then they were like, that's great. Brought them some prawn crackers. I was like, don't know if they're veggie, ate them anyway, fuck it. <laughs> usually, they, usually they are, but I'm like, whatever. Ate them all, starving. 
set, you know, they picked them up. They gave me the spring, no, the hot and sour soup. I was like, right, I'll eat that because I'm hungry. But I usually have it all in one. Yeah. They took that away when I finished it. Then they brought the spring rolls and I was like, well, I'm going to save these for my main. So on my phone, chilling, ate a spring roll. Another 10 minutes went by. I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll just have another one. So there's only one left at this point. And I they, waited for like another... they either, are they? I waited for another like 15 minutes and I was like, where's my food table behind me? Got loads of food all at once. Mains, everything, <laughs> drinks, yeah, you didn't, you didn't cocktails. Say you all together. Well, No. So then I was like, where's my food? And I'm like, oh, it's been ready for half an hour. I've been waiting for you to finish your spring rolls. I was like, <laughs> all right. I usually, have them, I usually have them together. And they're like, oh, you should have said. I was like, should I? Because <laughs> <laughs> um, at that point, no one came over. Ask. You know no, no, no. They came over and they're like, everything okay? And I was like, yeah, it's good. I'm just waiting for my mains. And she walked off. So she mustn't have heard me asking for the mains. Mm. But then she was laughing at me. She was laughing, going, you should have told us. That's how you do it when you go out and eat. And I was like, but it didn't say starters. It didn't say I this. Do, I, I'd agree. I think, I think, it, I think I, it's a miscommunication of why I was gonna say, perceive I, a Chinese cuisine I, as. I agree, I agree with the soup, mm. because the soup is like a starter. A spring roll, I that's a fucking side dish, that. Yeah. A spring roll is a side. It's not a... It's not an antipasti well, either. Do you know what I mean? You're gonna, <laughs> like, if it was a starter, they should have brought it with the soup. Do you know what I mean? If you're viewing it, they brought everything no, no, one by one. I don't, I don't think spring rolls start. I think it's, it's yeah. Just I think that's what it was. Yeah, I, I just, was in I, there for an hour, and then I, just, I got the food, and it was fucking. Co- and then they overcharged me. They charged me for nine spring rolls Crazy. instead of three. So I think I annoyed them. So I know. I, I always ask for your food all at once. I just didn't if think I'd have to do it. I, yeah. I just think I just think a spring rolls aside, and I think. I think it's weird to think that you'd be like, oh, they want the soup for starter, then they want a course of spring rolls, and then they want the main. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is divisive. Um, when we were in Liverpool, loads of people said the best restaurant in Liverpool is Mr. Chili's, which is a Chinese. Right. Where, where I'll go there next time. There's two. There's one near Kempston, which isn't very good, but there's one near, is it Largo's? Near, oh, in like Chinatown? Yeah, the art I'm, club. I, I'm, I'm not a massive, honestly. I'm not, I'm not a massive lover of it. Do you know what's um, interesting about the word chili? It means hot and cold. You ever got mm, on that? Nice. Different spellings though. Ah. It's also a place as well. Is it hot or cold? Also and it's spelling. also another dish. <clears throat> right. Anything annoy anyone else? <laughs> no. Oh, I was going to say summit. Printers annoy me. <laughs> Why? Because they're fat. I feel like technology has progressed a lot. I've got everything on here apart from a printer. Yeah. They're always separate, aren't Phone they? Phone case printer. Yeah. I know what you mean. No, it's, it's even like when they have Wi Fi features, it's not straight. It's always a faff, isn't it? Like, you yeah, know, all I the agree. ink. I know you can get all in one ink. And I know the drivers can... and stuff. It's just, just, just plugging and play. I, I, I'm quite. <laughs> I, I, I would say I'm a tech savvy person. I like my tech. I like fiddling on computers. Printers give me anxiety, mm, and I don't yeah. know how to use them. I've got this printer at home that we've had for a while that works with this laptop. But you put another laptop into it, it doesn't work. work. Yeah. So it I'm safe in shit. that zone with this, but then it doesn't work. Yeah, elsewhere. no, I get I've seen them. Why aren't they just like a printer that's just like. They should just be universal. Just, just, just plug just them just in. Your phone. You don't just need your driver, just work. Just, just, no, just, the problem is, though, with Bluetooth. The probably is. No, do you know blows me head, though? Like, you can, like, fucking. It's always a faff. There's something faffy, though, isn't there? You can put your mobile screen on a TV dead easy and do all that shit, but you can't just send it to a printer for it to Them ones like tour managers have and reps are really good. The Seems travel lights. Like, yeah. yeah, but they're like 300 quid, aren't they? You pay for what you get, don't you? Yeah, yeah but that's what I'm saying. Twice. That's what I'm saying. Have you, you seen, get... have you seen thermo printers? So that? Is it so they're even heat? smaller, but you need thermal paper. And it uses heat, like a that's like receipt. Like, like a receipt works, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. So it sort of does it like that. 3D printers. There's lots of variations of printers, but just get the <laughs> printer right. <laughs> it's like they give up and gone. That'll still do. in the game, isn't it? <laughs> that's that's old school. That, it man. is mad in it. The one I've got that's is Canon. OBM. Cannon's the one I've got. You know, it's like Epson, Hewlett you know Packard. When, <laughs> <laughs> when you go, when you go certain places, HP. Yeah. Do, do, do you remember fake? Do people used to get? My dad used to buy fake ink, like knockoff ink on eBay. Is that still a thing? I didn't know that. Didn't know that thing. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I remember that. That, that, that was like a late nineties, early nineties. Well, no, you were like two thousand and four. You were a bit like. Remember the refillable cartridges? You had like a. I didn't have a printer at home and shit like that. Then. Did you not have a printer? No, I didn't even have a, I didn't have a computer for ages. Not? There was a guy who used to turn no. up at my mum and dad's house with a bag full of aftershave. Nice. My dad used to pick yeah. what he wanted, do you know what I mean? Like jazz or... Yeah, yeah. Were they fake? Like, blue straws. High karate. I assume so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stolen. I, um... Do you remember there was always like... No. The DVDs were funny. My, dad, still my dad used to get DVDs. Of Barry, what was it again? Class. Taru Notta. Taru Notta, that's it. Fuck you now. So yeah, it's good that, isn't it? Really good. Um... 
you want to talk about uh, the I, studio? Well, I've got a, just some unrelated. Oh. I thought we try. Nice. What is this? Tom's games. <laughs> Tom's games. <laughs> Tom's, Tom's games. games. <laughs> Go on then. The that's, like a, that. that's a throwback for OG uh, listeners of the podcast. Tom's games. I just thought we'd do a little quick fire. This quick fire's that. good. Okay. Nice. Each individual. Just, I'll just or, fly or around. You, each, you just answer the question quick. Right, go on then. Yeah. This was in an email. Was it? Yeah. It's quite hypothetical. Look. Right. Also, Matt. don't... Yeah, go on. Emails are the same. We'll go Joe first. Got them. And I know what the answer to this is. Sauce on the side or sauce on top? Sauce on the side. Or should I do everyone's answer for it? One at a time, it's good. Yeah. So yeah. on the side? Because there's only two answers. Because then you can there, decide they? if you want to put it on top or okay. not. Okay. Miles, a comedian in a serious film or a serious actor in a comedy film? Oh, I don't know if I've seen it. quite either. apt, that. Uh, <laughs> re- read me the question again. Com- a comedian in a serious film, so right. like Jim Carrey in Eternal Sunshine, yeah. or a serious actor in a comedy film, so Robert De Niro in a comedy? In Chief They Bad always does. surprise me. Not Chief like, Bad doesn't. Meet the Fockers. Meet the Fockers, there we go. Uncut Gems is an example. Good. Adam Sandler, Sandler playing a so serious role. serious act. Oh no, comedian in a serious film then is your answer. I, I, I prefer that. And he's done that's, like a space one, quite you, isn't it? That's Coen Brothers, that one, isn't it? Uncle Josh, Gems. talking or listening? Listening. Not a fucking choice, that's why. <laughs> With these in the room. <laughs> Excuse me. Chaz, free travel for one year or free, <laughs> or free lodging for five years? Free lodging for five years. Really? I thought you'd go for travel. I don't no, like war, I like no, history. Not his interest, right? No, but you no. could use the money you spend on lodgings for travelling. For travelling, yeah. Nice. nice. Mine says, start work, start work late or leave work early. Ooh. Leave work early, I would say. Mm. You're yeah. an early bird. Yeah, get get in. Get in, get it done. Get in, get it off. Homeschool or classroom learning? Fuzzbuzz. It's fucking hard, do that because I, 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 I was obviously fucking went to school. I think you probably would have preferred homeschool, wouldn't you? I reckon. How does that I, work? I, I feel like socially, you know what I mean. Ian with a mortarboard on. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> Joe, you cunt, is here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think um, I just dropped the C bomb. Then big one. Sorry, everyone. Did you? So I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> Censor it. Yeah. Do, do you want let's give you another question. Yeah. Loud or quiet? Loud. Jesus. <laughs> Miles, sponge or paper towel? For what? Depends if he's in a, depends if he's in a, depends if he's in a pint glass. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking dark, that. That's fucking angry. Sponge or paper towel? Uh, well, I prefer a paper towel only because when you're cleaning the kitchen, I feel as though this this makes me seem a bit um, so I've a- no- anti-environment, but... No, I've, I've noticed this. Bacterium. You always use a sponge on the side in the thingy. Me? Yeah. Like if you're wiping down your side in the kitchen, you always sponge it. What? what I'm I mean, a cloth like, guy, you see. I've got a sponge for my plates and like my washing up. I don't like the cloth. The cloths get mucky. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Do you know I've what? Got a, I've got a cloth for this worktops. I've got both. No, no I've, I've got, got, I've got, I've got a, both. If you're talking like that, I have a method. <laughs> if there's bits that. of food on oh, the you side, wipe them with the cloth. I sponge it into yeah. the I agree, yeah. And then then I spray the side and then I use a cloth. Of course, that's what it is. Yeah, everyone's got the same. Like, because imagine sweeping up crumbs and that with the cloth. It gives me like the ick a bit. Mm. Josh, yes. Protagonist or sidekick? I don't know if this means. Do you see yourself as that, or do you prefer them in film in literature? I don't know. I could see Batman myself or Robin, as, basically. I could it? see myself as more of a sidekick. Okay. Because I'm like, do you know what I mean? Clearly not going to be the super fucking hero, am I? <laughs> I don't know. But have you seen Kick Ass? I actually have the unconventional no. if the super, super. If the superhero is aging, decrepit. I mean, to be honest, no, no, no. What happens in Kick? What happens in Kick Ass is that he tra- he's like not really like built to be a superhero. No. As, a, and, as am I. No, no, no. And then he gets fucking battered and run over, and then he has loads of steel plates. He feels no pain. So, yeah. do you fancy that? I don't Aaron know. No, not particularly. The other thing is though, the other thing you say that, but then, do you know what I mean? The I'm, new Bond. I'm Heart this, of gold. Josh, the this, new Bond. Is he actually? If you were the new Bond, yeah, yeah. He's, he's fucking ace, you know him. I, um, yeah. I think I think it depends. Charles. I'm, I'm not having it. I just think if he's like a guitar we'll do solo, one more do you know what I mean? Nailed if it. We're enjoying it's good this. Yeah, well. yeah, I'm, I'm like enjoying this. this. Yeah. Keep, keep I going, like yeah. that. It's all the time. Charlie. I think I know the answer to this one. <laughs> Test the waters or dive in at the deep end. Ooh. Surely the latter. Yeah. You're so diving at the deep end. Mm. Maybe in some aspects and some aspects you're not. I don't know. 
What would you say? Uh, dive in at All of us then dive at the deep end. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like little you, things if, like if you pissed up, I'm, yeah. more I'm staying, I'm staying in, certain, another... in certain scenarios yeah. which would which would incline the but, diving at the deep end. Yeah, but I'm not like haphazard, am I like, you know what I mean? I'm no, not... in other aspects you're not. No. Mm. But in some aspects I'm quite sensible in, in a lot of ways. Mm. But as as far as spontaneity is concerned, I'd dive in. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Sneezing or coughing is mine. Oh. Well you're a sneezer. I would you say are a sneezer. Yeah. You sneeze quite I'd a lot. Rather, I don't know if I'd rather sneeze than cough, though. <laughs> well, sneezing feels nice sometimes. You're a sneezer, aren't you? Yeah, you <laughs> sneeze quite a lot, don't you? I'd say sneezing feels better than coughing. But then when you sneezing's get a dry quite, nose, yeah, but when quite, you, know, you can't um, stop oh. sneezing, but then when you can't stop coughing, it's fucking oh, hard. It's, 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 it's all terrible. Sneezing. Coughing hurts more than sneezing. Yeah. I mean, if, you, if you have like a sneezing fit, if you have a coughing fit, it hurts your throat. Yeah, rasp. Coughings are heavy, too. Okay. Joe, sorry, man. thank you. This is quite. I don't know the answer to this one. Art projects or science projects? <sighs> That's fucking hard. That, what do you like, mean? I, is it him doing science. it? Yeah, like what does he prefer? Oh. Probably science for Joe on it. I love both though. I draw on my iPad, don't I, quite a bit? But then I also, but drawing I, on an enjoy. iPad is quite scientific. Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 only, do that, I only do that for ease. Science. Well, he's meant to be. Very how it's so. made, aren't you? This or that. Let's. On, but I use that more practically started. rather than like... I You've got five I seconds to answer. I want to say science. Art. Art project. Yeah, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't sit at home and go, right, let's do some science. Whereas I'd probably sit at home and go, yeah. oh, I want to draw or do some art. Miles, I'd do some art if I've had to do science to do we'll some do one more each. What's your favourite um, realm of science? Chemistry, biology, physics? What would you say? I like physics and all that, yeah. Physics and like all that. blew your head when I siphoned the water out of your gut at what time. Fuck me. That was mad. <laughs> Did you do that thing, he right? sucked it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It blew his head. I did it on the motorway, didn't I? Do you remember? I he, well, he, we were in we were his house and he had this like... The gutter was filling up, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, the gutter. And it, you, you were like, Cheers. I can't fucking get it out. And you was like trying to get this cup Trying in. to like scoop it out and then soak it up and shit. And I was like, oh, we could siphon it. Have you got any like... So we cut a bit of his... Um, no, hose. first hose I went, out. what the fuck is siphon? <laughs> <laughs> he just drops that like... Gravity, was, man. Everyone knows what it is. And then I, um, yeah, cut the thingy. Cut a bit of hose off his hose pipe. And just siphoned it off, and it all went. And he was like, "What the fuck?" It blew nice. your head. It did, did it? blow my head. I was very uh, most impressed. I've been. So you what know, is, you know, is, you try is, is that cocktail? physics when a bartender tries a cocktail? Yeah, yeah. that's a siphon. Yeah, we do that. Yeah. Right, me. Pizza or Chinese food? <laughs> oh, oh, it's gonna have to be Chinese. <laughs> it's really? gonna have to be a fucking love chat. But then again, I think pizza. If you took, like, put it this way, it, well, if, like, you to, if you had to choose one over the other, I'd, I'd pick pizza forever. Yeah, well, I was gonna say yeah. If you take away Chinese forever, I'll take away pizza forever. Let's go pizza because I like spiciness. That's oh, what I like from Chinese food. Fucking mint. Like yeah. If you, if, you, if you never, if someone says to you, you can never have Chinese, go never have pizza again. I'd be like, fuck that Chinese. Right Tell you what, be I would be saddened by the, the loss of Chinese food in my life, though. Yeah, I love a spring roll to be fair, and I love prawn toast. Yes. <laughs> just what? Just, just thought you wanted. Josh, Josh, weekends or holidays. Uh, well, what's the context of this I, question I, here? Is that meaning like? When you're at school and you've got like the long six weeks and then you've just got your weekends. Like, I, I, think, you I think it probably means burst? people who like have weekends or holidays off. Like, it's just what you prefer your weekends I mean, or holidays. Holidays haven't really been, like in the last decade, holidays, as a kid I went on loads and like it was dead nice and everything. But then as obviously we got busier and stuff like that, they're not really a part of my life. So, but I've like weekends, that's when like, because like obviously... That's when I see like my, most of my friends and stuff like mm. that, like outside of work. Yeah. So you go weekends. So I'd probably say weekends. Yeah. Say, it's, it's hard on that because I think our job fucking well lucky, aren't we? Yeah. We get to travel a lot. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? So we have that thingy. I have a we different. Have that. I have a different th relationship with <laughs> holidays because of our job now. Yeah. I think of them differently because we Talk, travel I've so much. Holiday actually. Talking holidays. Yeah. Way nice. off. Sorrento. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. When? Can I want you like to know? Nah, when um, when everyone else is going away. What hotel? Yeah, exactly. Travel lodge. <laughs> you got a spare room? It's my job gone. No. <laughs> Chaz, reality shows or documentaries? Oh. oh. Undoubtedly. Documentaries for me. Yeah, I, I do like be. reality shows, but... Yeah. Yeah. Mood again, mood depending that. Yeah. Sometimes you sit down and you watch documentary and you're like, I'm fucking, I can't be arsed with this. Do you know what I love? I love documentaries on, where they're like... Finish it off, off for you on for yourself. Go on. Start assignments immediately or wait until the last minute. You're, Very, an, you're an immediate person. Or ADHD is the other way, isn't it? Yeah, you're, you're so... I have done wait until the last minute on... Maybe when I was at school, 
things I'm not as asked about. It's an obvious answer, though, isn't it? Shit I'm not as asked about, I'd leave to last minute. Yeah. yeah. But now I think as I'm older, I'm a start sign. You have to have passion. I'd like to get yeah, out if you, of Yeah, if you want to do something, you're always like, we should do this, we should do it now. It's quite me. I think it's Donovan, though. I think it's because you're with a Donovan that, that um, that's now encroached in your life. And last one for Joe. Thank you. City or countryside? Sir. I mean, um, <laughs> quite country, countryside for me. Manchester City or walking in the countryside? Manchester City. Wow. Wow. I love City. I love going City with Tom. Me and Tom obviously spend work. Does he think the, th- does he think the same? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> But do you know what I mean? Me and Tom, we work together, do that. We, we do everything together. That's the one thing we do together. It's like... Really inter- it's it's like it's interesting friends. seeing you at City. Like everyone's like, knows you and shakes your hands and shit. It's like quite... I don't know. It's like it's like, it's like, you it's like your other life, isn't when it? When did you go? I've been once. Oh, yeah, that you, was And it. it was like, hey, mate, how are you doing? Shaking your hands and shit. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> That's Joe, that. Yeah, it's good though, isn't it? It's nice to be nice, isn't it? I like them people. Mm, you see me keep it out. It's, yeah, I absolutely love going to City. So that was Tom's Games for a laugh. Tom's nice having back. <clears throat> nice to have you back. What would you do? What would you do? What would you do? Hypothetic Ellock. What would you do? Hypothetic Ellock. You got it. You get given. No, I'm joking. It's <laughs> a hundred million dollars. I've got. I've got. Um, we just do the one here, but this is quite an interesting one. Everybody can give me their answer. Similar-ish to one we've had before, but not quite the same. Everybody gets a tree that grows one thing. What do you get? So, here are the rules. Can't the tree the tree is the size of a small fruit tree. It grows in receptive of light, but it does not need not neutering with water and stuff. So you just get a tree and it can just basically just grow. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to worry about the upkeep of the tree, basically. Yeah. Everybody gets it at the same time. So everyone's got this tree. everyone's got a tree. Sound. Um trees Basically, you all get a tree each. So right, got a tree. I get this a tree. What's yeah. next? What do you want on it? What do yeah. you want it to grow? What do you want to, it Surely to grow? Surely it'd be better to put your heads together and pick something that would benefit each one of you and share so the your, wealth of the trees. So your, 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 your team tree. Like, <laughs> yeah, I want I want like a, I want us to make a forest. Do you know what I mean? And, and share each other's money. Wait, 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 wait. So well, wouldn't you just the, say money? Like, if, if, like, no, myth, no, no. Is it, it mythical no, or is it a real no, tree? No, it has to grow real things. Oh, okay, boss. Let's, yeah. Okay. Well, things that grow. Mm. So it's got to be like a vegetable or something. Yeah, yeah. Fruit. Fruit and trees, aren't they? So you have, if you have an unlimited supply of this. Oh, yeah, fruit. Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Fucking failed science. <laughs> science. Um, science, isn't it? Is it? Food tech, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> food tech. <laughs> is it science? Science, what's science, it? science. in it, yeah. Um, you like cooking though, don't you? I do. That's so, what so, so imagine like what? To be fair, you you go you go a few spices. Doesn't and herbs. it? Doesn't have to grow on it. It, it can be like food, herbs. Yeah. It can be any. It can be anything that is grown. But, no, but you I mean, get like, it. When we've cut to yours for you're like, oh, I'm always like fucking. I always forget bay leaves. Me, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've got a nice bay leaf tree. Exactly. Yeah. yeah when you got a little bay leaf. Hey, what's flourishing at the minute? My mint. Nice month. Month. Can I don't speak about your bank balance? You know what I found in my garden the other day. Um, <laughs> it's, is it called is it called like lemon balm or something like that? Lemongrass. No, it's it's, it's like it's it's, it's it's part of the it's part of the mint family. It looks exactly like mint. And I was like, so I went to go and like oh, smell it. It was mint. Smells just like lemons. Mint that. Oh, literally. I, I love stuff like that though. Yeah. I've got really into plants recently. You know, I, I keep like I was going to talk about birds and that recently. I bought a book called The Wildflowers of, of England. Nice. Yes. And I've been like, you know, on my walk, like looking at flowers, going, I wonder what that is. Yeah. And I go back and refer to the book in the morning when I'm eating my crumpets. Lame. That nice. is quite heartbreaking. It, yes. As Sophia was like, what's this book? I was like, it's my flower book. It's wholesome. And she, she looked at me like, she looked at me as if like, I sort of, the wedding's off. I love you less, but that's quite endearing. I love you less. Do you know what I mean? She's, I could see it looked at me like, I used to be attracted to you and now I feel sorry <laughs> for you. <laughs> Like the love is still at the same level, but for a different thing. Zip now. off Kex next month. <laughs> um, seven apes. Zip off at the knee. I like peppers. <laughs> <laughs> I probably. The, you, do you know what it is? You, it's yeah, sometimes you a bit difficult to find a good red pepper. Do you know what I would grow? I've just thought of it. Go so on. I'm going to go basil for all year round on my thing. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's not in, it's, you can't get it all the time, can you? If you're no. trying to be like good. So basil. Yeah. So I just have basil, basil all the time. Indoors as well. Just, yeah, you don't have to worry I mean, you can just it. get that anyway, can't you? Yeah, if, if you went, if you went like, yeah, it goes up to like, I mean, it, yeah. it doesn't grow on trees, but if you went, like, a, you'd, you'd pick something like, um, 
He picks something that's in quite a lot of things, like you said, Basil goes in quite a lot that's of things. That's what I'm saying. It's imported over though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean, if you wanted to keep everything in-house, mm. yeah, that's good. doesn't grow all year round, does it, in England? I mean, technically speaking here, we, we could all just build a really sophisticated greenhouse and have all these things well, in real said, life. Put all, put all our eggs together. <laughs> like, this isn't actually that hypothetical. We could just do this. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> do you find like, yeah. no, I thought you meant oh, wait like, a minute. Yeah, yeah I, I know. I thought you meant grow. That's why I said like a money tree. Yeah, I thought you meant grow like d- yeah. grow a fucking no, but, no, car. No, no, no but this is I mean. more interesting though. Because you have to. Th- this is real. This is realistic. <laughs> <It's a> leaf. <laughs> nice. Well, well, do squirrels what? on trees. Shit. I don't know why I didn't think of this. Lemons. I have a lemon. See this every, this, day, every morning. There you, you know, go then. This, this every morning good. I have a. This I have is a, good. I have a lemon water. Right. Bananas. Bananas are good. Chas, what are you saying? Just listing shit we like now. <laughs> no, it's good though. Um, mm. Pizza What's your dough. favourite fruit? Grapes are good, aren't favorite they? Favourite fruit? Uh, Wine. I, I really like a pink lady, you know. An apple? Nice crisp pink lady. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, okay. Okay. Do you know what me and Josh used to have at our house? Is that an apple? Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> so me and Josh used to have at our house. Fennel. Tell you, you what, buzz off fennel. We went for lunch yesterday, didn't yeah. we? We did. Fennel. New place. Should go check it out. Fennel. Town. Radicchio. Mm. And orange, blood orange salad. It was fucking gorgeous. It's called Medlock Canteen. <laughs> you went so yes. far then. Um, it was, it was fucking, fucking gorgeous. gorgeous. Off bits of the fennel, was it raw? It was like sauteed, wasn't it? Yeah, and pickled. It was I think. pickled. It's nice, yeah. isn't it? When it's like that, I've had yeah. it like yellow amber. But we, we had we had a, a we had a whole chicken, didn't we? Rotisserie yeah. chicken. Yeah, that, that photo made me laugh. You put on your story, same before. Yeah, you no, know, he had to stretch his legs after it. <laughs> Medlock Canteen. Nice. Really nice. Yeah. Would recommend I did a roast it. chicken at home on Saturday night. Mm. Did you? Saturday yeah. roast. Yeah, just. Why the fuck not? Why the hell not, eh? Boss. So what's yours then? Uh, you know what? I'd, I'd, I'd. I Charles, would... are you picking fennel? Like that? Sorry, is fennel a spice? It's not. Fruit, no, no, is it's it? a root in it. Yeah, that's uh, what he's, he's picking out some form of apple. Uh, oh yeah, pink lady. Pink lady. <laughs> I'm a Granny Smith man myself, but oh, yeah, yeah, we'll take. I, I, I would, I would pink. somehow g- genetically hack this, this thing to grow all my favourite varieties of tomato in one place. Ooh. Nice. Because oh, oh, they're another thing that we, can, we need tomatoes, man. Do you remember the tomato yeah, shortage sure. last year? Oh, in lockdown. Was it? No, no, it was last year. No, it was lockdown, wasn't it? Heritage. I can't remember what it was, but yeah, I remember. But yeah, oh, I, I remember. I remember getting bastards. some and like mum and dad Everybody coming home to mine boss, and like getting <laughs> loads of salt, beef steak. <laughs> What's that? Just naming tomatoes. Yeah, oh. oh, so that'd Did, be, them, that'd them, be uh, me. them Spanish tomatoes that we had the other day that we got from the delicatessen around the corner. Yeah, they were good. <sighs> And that's oh, I could do that. We could make sarnies like them, you know. Good sarnies, them. And um, Miles, Thank what are you, you picking? Red peppers. Oh, nice. I like red peppers. I chuck, Bowie I chuck them in a lot once of things. lived on cocaine, milk, and red peppers. That that was my diet at Didn't one point. You. <laughs> you to be honest with you, <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, a couple of years also, back. Miles is the new Bowie. <laughs> <It's> all right. <laughs> right a I, wonder, I wonder if you both got holes in your brain. No, oh, I've had holes in my brain since I had a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hundred percent since I had a brain. To, what is it your gun used to say? Uh, if you have a thought, it. if yeah. you have a thought, it doesn't go from here to here. It goes from here to here. <laughs> Miles, give me a fat. Fucking hell. So just a couple there because I'm not done one of these for a while. But did you know? And you probably did know this that muscles only pull; they can't push. Yeah, that's an actual fact for you there. Hem- muscle in it. <laughs> what your ass? Well, I say it again. They pull. Muscles only pull. pull they can't, can't push. push. Actually, yeah, well, no, no, uh, no, no it, that's why you have two sets of muscles, one on top, one but because they contract and restrict. So, so everything's, it depends what angle you're looking at. It. That's why, yeah, hence why, yeah. So, that's right. right, nice, more. Um, so the, 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 these are, I don't know, it's, there's one that's saying if, if, if you're sleeping and someone blows air onto your eyes, <laughs> your eyes won't react. But if you're awake, they will flutter a bit. <laughs> And 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 and, <laughs> and, and, just a side note. That. and there's just a side note here saying that's how I check if someone's really sleeping. Don't know why you're checking. I, I, I'm not Learn it that. from my aunt. That's I'm what not, someone said. I'm, I'm so you like, oh, are they asleep? You go up to them. You, I'm yeah, not just having blow that. their eyes. Like, if I, do if it, do I, it on if someone. I'm gonna try it. I'll do that. Okay, like what the fuck, fuck are you doing? doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, that that's. What what do we think of that? I'm I'm intrigued. Yeah, I am interested. Yeah, I wonder if it works on dogs. Maybe. Um, uh, there's this one here that says, I mean, I kind of knew this anyway. In fetal development, the arsehole is the first prominent thing to develop. <laughs> Why did you sort of know that? Well, it, it, because, it, because it is. Yeah. I didn't know that. The, the, the arsehole. <laughs> it was written as asshole. <laughs> Do you know the one who says ass? 
Like ASS. Uh, my girlfriend. She's, well, she's American. Oh, she's American. Fair enough. Yeah, well, this, yeah. yeah. Okay. Did she say fanny? No. Oh. No, no, fat guy. They say they call the bums fannies, don't they? Yeah, no, yeah, she doesn't yeah. say I've that. They've got a fanny pack. No. Right. The <laughs> ass. I watched a film the other day, if anyone gives a shit. Oh, hey. If I don't know why I've got this. It literally just says Josh on demand and then the title of the film. It was just simply so I remembered that much. Um, J-O-D, I abbreviated it to. Nice. Jod. Josh on demand. ordinarily deters <laughs> things. Decrepit. Decrepit. Um, American fiction. Uh, Upon recommendation yeah, of James, yeah, James Skelly, Skelly yeah. in the studio. Is it got? It was. It was very... Um, Fictional. Slow. Not somewhat anticlimactic, but it was clever and right. and very like relevant. Nice. Um, I don't have I heard. The, have you seen this? No, Scally was telling. Scally was on it. about it, but it's funny. What's about? It's also, it? also it's, it's actually really sad. Lots of death in it. Is there? Yeah. Well, not lots, but there's death in it. Right. Um, What's it on Amazon? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, sound. I so might check that out. Is it? That's that's kind of What's it. What's it about? Like roughly. On, out, out, if, you out, us a, if you give us a no spoiler I've description, because I'm, yeah. I'm quite intrigued. Film or series? It's a film. Yeah. Nineties, um, eighties. That came out last year, I think. Last year, right. yeah. And it's about an author who basically he writes a like a, a shit house throwaway, like crap uh, made up thing despite being like a really <gasps> like well educated knowledgeable like published author yeah, yeah. but he's like well n none of my published works are getting any any traction so he just does this throwaway really stereotypical bo bollocks basically and it becomes the number one uh author but it has this really oh. weird twist at the end like kind of breaks a fourth wall it's a bit weird but yeah it was, That's it, it interesting, was interesting that good good concepts yeah it was what good. did you give out of 10 uh Six. <laughs> Is there else from watching it? Have you noticed there's a new talented Mr. Ripley? I'm halfway through it. Is I, it I'm watching it as well at the moment. It's better than the film. <gasps> I can't I can't get on board with that. Oh, you, it's you good. It's really day, good. Didn't you? It's, it's better than the film. Is it's really, it? It's really good. Hands down. Oh, I'm not having I that. I love the film, don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit bit nicey nicey the film, I think. You know yeah, I mean? it's a bit more gritty. And it's a bit more Hollywood the film, like the actors all look boss, don't they? And the actresses. In this one, they're not like he's he's portrayed. Even though Thingy's like, let's face it, it's Jude Law, Matt, Matt Damon, Damon, yeah, oh. Paltrow, yeah, exactly. Ooh. They all look shit hot, don't they? Yeah, yeah. and like the outfits are Where fucking unbelievable. Andrew Scott plays Ripley in this one, and um, I forget the guy who plays. I just know him in the house is the Andrew Irish. Scott's the hot priest, isn't he? In, hot in priest, Fleabag. Oh, Fleabag so knows him as. Yeah, so he, yeah, and um, boss, I'll check that out. But he, he's um, he's what's it called? Is he in the Matt Damon role? Yeah, he plays yeah. Ripley. Um, Ripley yeah. Dakota Fanning plays Marge. Senior Greenleaf. Oh no, and Stingy Dickie, plays. Dickie's misses. But the it's all in black and white as well. Yeah, and the attention to detail like is bang on. Check that really, out. Really, really well, that's good. What I mean I watched, that's what I mean to book the holiday last night. <laughs> is it? Because we're watching it. Yeah, and we're just like, we need to book the holiday. I was like, where should we go? Was like, it's so good. Sorrento. I watched The Martian. I've seen it before. Wow, but it's a boss film. That's so I good. Said to Kate, I was like, Kate, we should watch this. You'll like it. Seen that one? It's fucking it. brilliant. Yeah. Watch that. Martian. Yeah. What's it? What, where can I get it? It's Netflix. 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 Do, you want, do you want a bit of the backstory? Yeah, it? go for it. I won't ruin it. Go on. It's, it, this happens in the first like five minutes yeah. of the film. It's not a giveaway. They're on Mars. You can get to Mars in this. Future. future humans can get to the Mars like space travel mm -hmm. so NASA have sent people to Mars and a storm cloud oh, comes you know I think and I've one of the guys gets left behind I think I saw a trailer for this when it came out Damon, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Damon. I've seen yeah. It. he starts growing yeah it's really good he starts growing his own veg doesn't he like out of shit and stuff you can't go outside because it's really like Fertilized. they have like um, sandstorms don't they yeah, yeah. I find yeah. it interesting that then in Interstellar Matt Damon was on a planet as well wasn't he yeah. you know what I mean different film is Matt Damon in Interstellar? Yeah, yeah. They find him on another planet and he's like asleep. I was like, it's quite close together. 
RSG is a finish, didn't he? he RSG yeah. did finish. I missed it by like two it. minutes. I, I remembered I was out and I put it on, like, you know, the live stream or like the news covering it. Jack Hampton. Yeah, don't, Jack Hampton. Don't piss me off with it. Have you seen when he fucking crosses up and he's like, like a random guy yeah, with next flag. to him? With a fucking, like, I'm like, who's the fuck are you? Yeah, he's like covering up all the cameras and stuff. Have you got he? it? Have you got on it? So you know, no. you know what the RSG is doing, don't you? Like, he's crossed yeah, the finish yeah, line. Yeah, I know he's ran. Right, he's ran the length of Africa, isn't he? Yeah. Get on this. Sorry. You're good. No, I thought that. I thought, like, just give the man some space. Yeah, he's just so, ran right, the fucking He's just run the Africa. Africa. He's about to cross, like, the finish line. You know, they put, like, a bit of tape out on that. Oh, fucking great. Can you signal it? Describe it to us and what happens. So he's about to cross the tape, and there's this guy who's, like, you know, loads of people joined him to, like, finish. And there's, like, yeah. a guy next At to him end. who's, like, joined him for, like, the last, like, two miles or something. And he, like, crosses the line. Like, everyone else sort of stops and let him go first. And this guy's, like, running next to him, this, like, just random guy. Oh, and, like, no. cross the line. It's a bit like, no. is he fucking help me? Is he not, is he not, the one, is he not one of the crew that was working with him? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Even so, give guy. the hardest geezer his fucking moment. But yeah, there was like, I, mean, yeah. I was like, it's, could we start watching a bit late? Either. But it's, it's, it's cool, isn't it? He's dumb. What's he going to do next? What is he uh, going to do next? 70 K a day he was doing in the no, end. Not, do you know it's not his first? No, he, he did from, he did Asia to fucking Europe. He did your, something revolving Asia and Europe. What and he, he did? Yeah, but I've, I've not really looked that video up to be fair. Raise a lot of money for charity, fair play to him. Should we get him on the podcast? He'd be doing loads now, won't we? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, he'd be, 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 be he's not going to is he? I am, mate. He's, um, no, he absolutely smashed it, though. It's massive. So, yeah, I watched that. Do you want to do some fan questions? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Here we go once again. What, what this is the fan bit. This is the fan bit. Joe, you, you mentioned that someone here has, um, um, we created your pedalboard. Well, yeah, but I, I didn't hadn't realised it's because it says here, Josh inspired pedalboard, and I, I, on upon closer inspection, there's yeah there's there's a lot of of the same stuff in there. A couple of things missing, I must add. Two same well, two similar amps, but then and and then he's got a similar set of guitars as well. But I zoomed in on the guitars. He's, he's got the same straps. Really? Yeah, Aww. the soldier straps. That's you know, I've, I've got that. the straps with the, the petals on them. Yeah, yeah. The flowers on them. He's got them as well. So class. Fair Watch play. your pack, man. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? It's, it's nice. Like it's nice that to inspire nice. people in it. Like, it's yeah. um, obviously a big fan of the, your sound. Are you yeah. on um, that fucking website, Gear or some Gear dot com or something? You know, oh, where, you know yeah, what's it like? called? No. To be honest, like, no, no. Is uh, in like has someone put you on it? Because if yeah, maybe because if you're, I'm on it. You're on it. What's your get? Is it? Is it? It's like my guitars and stuff like that's, that. It's cool, that, isn't I it? think. Josh, have you got any tips, maybe budget friendly, on how people can get a similar sound to yours? Daniel yeah. Electro's quite budget friendly. Or am I mistaken? Well, it's, it's it's yeah. I mean, it doesn't really. It's more that it, there's like themes to the so one thing that we always or well, that I always had, mm. and obviously before the joining band. the band, it was always. Uh, a slapback delay and that was on everything and that's like like it was literally just on, it was never off so that's something to if so someone wants to try yeah, just, just get a, start get a delay pedal and make it really fast that on Charlemagne yeah yeah uh, it's on literally everything what was your first guitar pedal first guitar pedal uh, was a Morley volume wah which I right. still use when we're mm. writing now yeah nice um, and yeah what was uh, your um, last guitar pedal? Um, Most recent. I'm gonna say last dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know, but well, we have we we have been using a this particular compression pedal in the studio, but I can't remember what it's called. Nice. What? Well, um, I'm gonna put the question to you two as well because people might be into that. Someone trying to recreate your sound mm -hmm. as a bass enthusiast. What would you say is the one thing to like? Five Josh string, said then, like, one, do you know what I mean, you're quite um, five string bass. Do you know what I mean? What is it? Versatile. No, you're just fucking plug in, boss, innit? it? I think labella strings, flat wound strings, mm. certainly help. Um, Buy them from labella.com. <laughs> Charlie Sol <Salt> endorsed. <laughs> bass is it's fairly simple, innit? A um, little bit of foam under the bridge. Nice. There you go. Quite analog technique shows, aren't they? Yeah, very old analog. school in each other. Yeah, no, it's good though. Well, Tom deadened. Went, yeah. I don't have a sound. 
I don't think. Would you it? don't have a sound. You are the sound. Rhythm in it. I'm all like twelve. No, you're you're, you're really, really you're a really really, really tight rhythm guitar player. Been. Thank like, you. No, no, you actually you actually are you're like strong, really tight. The, the strong hall. Like the timing. Really good. Down shocked. No, no, but, but no, but this is because you're you're quite blasé about it all. But you actually are really good at it. Thanks. Do you know what I mean? No, I think I don't know. I've never been too overly. I know it sounds good mm. when I hear it. Yeah, yeah. But I don't, I'm not like. I don't tend to hone in on the sounds of. You the, don't have. I don't know signature. what they are. Do you know what I mean? I have to ask. I just asked Josh basically. That's kind Thank of. Thank you. The the relationship with it. That's tremolo. I had the, on the early gigs. I'd say tremolo on the uh, mm. electric. Because you had it on an amp, didn't Blow's you? Blow's got a tremolo rhythm. Mm. Actually, tremolo probably. Charlemagne's got tremolo electric. There we go. Honey Sweet's got tremolo electric. So tremolo electric. Bit driven. Was like yeah, a bit drive. Bit driven by the amp. Also. That's the reason you use these. Yep, it is. It, uh, and the 10, 11 years ago, it always be... You have to w- explain what you have for people who listen. Sorry. Tom and I use the same very specific type of very plectrum. Very thin. Very thin. It's because I've just always used these, and Tom never had one at rehearsal. So it was always like, yeah, mate, have you got one of these? Still, still, still up to this Still day. now, yeah. <laughs> I lose plectrums like four. But it is the Jim Dunlop 0.6 USA nylon. I still don't know what they're all called and stuff, you know. Like sometimes we get a new tech who works with us and they're like, what, what plectrum do you want? And I'm like... It's always know. these. Like, what gauge do you want? Is it gauge of a plectrum? Yeah. Yeah, what gauge do you want? I'm like, no idea, man. I know the short... And he just gets the box out and I can point to which one it is. <laughs> which is that's, you know what, that's old Given that you're colourblind, because some, some of them look the same colour as well and they're not. Yeah, you know they're mean? really white ones. They're really thin, aren't they? They're very thin, there yeah. There you go. Remember? Yo, I must ask you the same question. Uh, being a rock drummer... How do you? Have <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get the tone? It's drums in it. I'm a hard hitter. But no, I'd say uh, I'd say I think I think drum heads wise, Remo for me Remo, always. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, sticks, Promark. I use I use really heavy sticks actually. S T Y X. Um, I use longer sticks. But yeah, do you know what I mean? I'm playing pretty pretty simple things anyway. So it's just like. It's keeping that. I'm, I'm afraid no one said the same. They said to Tom, like, oh, you're really good at the rhythm. So, cheers, guys. Most improved player. It, it goes without <laughs> saying. That's why. <laughs> Thank you. Go on, Miles. What about you? What do you want now? It's hard. It's, again, yours, yours is pretty similar to me. Where I it's like guitar. I think we're, guitars. I the thing, are, is with me, the thing is with I me. Think think you know, the the more guitars, the more you've got to have the sound right. Yeah. Whereas, like, uh, gig drums, it's kind of a lot what they're doing out front. Is that fair to say? You've got to have a decent no, Live kit. drums is more frequency-based no, than... No, no, it's got to be pumped. It's, like, it's, it's, like, it's like already good. It's like the keyboard. Like, if you buy a keyboard, you're buying it because you know it's already good. Like, you could get a guitar and you could spend, like, seven grand yeah. on a guitar. You could plug it into the shittest amp through the shittest pedal board or not even a pedal board and it can sound pretty shit. It takes more, years to get everything together. It's more things together. with a guitar, and Like, you've got to have certain pedals with certain things and it's then you get that it. thing. Yeah, whereas, yeah. Whereas, whereas when you've got a synth, they've already done that shit and you've got a sound, like, do you mm. know what I mean? That's why I mean, think... The thing is with synths, it depends what synth... If you've got, like, a modular synth, if there's a lot of tweaking you have to do, if you've got an older like fucking Moog, you know, with, with, with all the synths that we have. We ended know, up getting a the, synth. The, the synth, that, like, like the Oberheim, the, like the Dave Smith one, the based on the old Oberheims, which you've got a few banks and stuff, but you have to do a, a few bit of tw- yeah, tw- you still know, twiddling synths. around. The Juno, Juno's the same as well, but yeah, synths. This is what, what, something that is, that, that if, if anyone cares, is that, you know, buy a new synth per album, use that, that's pretty good. And then you sample it, pop, pop it on a laptop, because that's... Um, Instead of recreating it in soft synths, if you sample the notes, and I've got my uh, Novations, which are nice MIDI controllers, do you know what I mean? Pump it out, do a bit of mixing. Yeah, so wait, for people who are asked when we play live, we'll have like all these vintage synths that we've played, we've bought, and Miles has played in the studio. And then obviously we don't take the vintage synths on tour with us. No. So then Miles has to go through each note going duh, sample each duh, one, mm. sample the notes into a computer, then send the, the computer to something that's called a MIDI keyboard in it like mm. like a controller like a novation thing you're talking yeah. about I'm just mm. exp- yeah, explaining it in it. the basic terms for someone and that's only because yeah. that's the you process to get the keyboard sounds so then Miles has a laptop when he presses a button and all the songs from all our albums that we're playing which have got different synths across five or six different synths they're all there, they're all there straight yeah. on main stage that's a lot of um the Archoria plugins, which are based on all the old ones, the soft synths on there are really good. So I've actually managed to just do a few in there now. I know a lot of people use that. So you can't beat analog, can you? Though I don't know though, because it's fucking. If you did an if you did an AB, you might you probably. I think more in terms it, of like in the studio, 
Do you know what I mean? You have to do less with it, but since it's versatile anyway, you can do loads with it. So mm. I don't know. Depends how you view it. Um, yeah. Do you, do you people are turned off now. I was so. going to say, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I've got a quick one. Go on. quick. Uh, do you know our friend from Italy, Claudia Franquelli? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's her mum's birthday. Oh, oh happy, happy, birthday. Birthday. happy birthday. Happy birthday. Claudia's mum. So you say, buon compleanno. Buon compleanno. Buon compleanno. Instead of saying, how old are you? You'd say, quanti anni hai? How many years do you have ah. left? <laughs> Jesus, that, that, that having your belt, wasn't it? Like, I mean, like I did. So yeah, that. happy birthday, happy, just, Maria Giovanni. And your is. Spanish is going well. Happy, <laughs> happy birthday, <Grazie>. Maria. <laughs> There's one here that says merchandise from Silver Dot A. Hello, you lovely people. I've been a massive fan of you guys since hearing one of your songs played on Sunday brunch. Wow, one of the fifteen people who uh, <laughs> tune in. <laughs> I have been to see brunch. you at Nottingham Rock City. Shock. <laughs> Castlefield Bowl. And even made the trip <clears throat> to see you in Dublin supporting Inhaler. Great band, so I'm glad they're supporting you at Wivenshaw. Oh, My nice. question is around merchandise at your gigs. Do you have much to do with the designs? I always try to buy something as a keepsake and can remember you saying in a previous podcast how much it means, especially when you're starting out. Also, you are, have you thought about doing something a little different to hoodies and t-shirts? My wife, Tracy, has got the black and white jumper you did and loves it. All the best. Can't wait for the new album. See it with short. Not sure what state we'll be in as we're booked in. Bohemian Arts Club the night before. I was thinking yeah. pogo sticks. God, I'd it. fucking the love frisbees. Blossom's oh. pogo sticks would be hilarious. Can you frisbees, get, can you get frisbees that aren't particularly dangerous if they hit you in the face? Because we took a few of them off stage. Well, I mean, we? a frisbee, it's not dangerous. I think merch, if you get hit by a frisbee, it's not it's like worth, that terrible no, frisbee. Break, no, you could break that, your nose. Yeah, but it's not like football that terrible frisbee. Fris- that terrible frisbee accident. Like, where it's no, like, it would do. If I chucked a frisbee or red now, you wouldn't be like, nice one. But a basketball or football would. Yeah, but Thing, couldn't you? No, I'm saying at the gig we could chuck frisbees around. Oh, okay. that's what I'm saying. So we yeah, need one yeah. that's safe. Blossom's Elf Bar. <laughs> <laughs> what flavour? What flavour would it be? Cherry, Honey cherry, sweet. Pink lady. cherry blossom. Oh yeah, this no. <laughs> that would actually go off. To be fair, um, yeah. <laughs> I think merch. It, it's a tricky one. In we, t- have, we, design, have, we have we have been involved. Had, yeah, a lot. Sometimes, I mean, we still are. Sometimes we've been involved. Sometimes we haven't. We always okay them. We it always comes through us. Yeah. So I'd say on the whole, the weird thing about merch is. Usually, the most simplest, easiest designs are the best. Like the biggest seller we've, we'll ever do blossoms. is just blossoms in yeah. the original yeah. font. Fucking hell! Some of the ones sense. we've had over the years. Do you know what's mad though? It's it's actually just that is more the design. Like it's just just saying blossoms on have always been the biggest sellers. Yeah. But I think we've we're quite into our fashion and stuff like that, and we've done some designs which are maybe more rogue. Not rogue, like just a bit more arty, saying we've got artists into design stuff and have a bit more like flair to him in certain ways. But they just, at the end of the day, some people just, the majority no. of people aren't that arsed about it. They just want it to be, say, Blossoms and be like, I'm a fan of this band. To be so, fair, the yeah. Blossoms jumper they're talking about. Blossoms jumper is the is is kind of like the Bella Fraud jumper. Well, I, I, I was one that did yeah. that. I was like, we should get a jumper that's. No, there was a Smith knitted one actually. Yeah, by uh, yeah, he's cool. Company. That one is cool. Oh, it's knockoff yeah. merch still a thing outside. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I've seen a lot of fake blossoms merch knocking yeah. about. But um, I've, uh, that yeah. wave, there's a blossoms waves one which we first. That was like foolish on spaces. We didn't design it. And it's that got colours behind it. People, oh, yeah. I see a lot of them. That was, yes. bit, that was that was that was that was I say that 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 tour and that we had that on the merch that outsold the other Blossoms t-shirt yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what I'm saying it's usually just the title when it's got the title in it but like the thing with like the Blossoms one that like, we were talking about there the one that was actually knitted in it's because obviously we're just we're just a band and we're touring we can't do huge runs of it so no. it costs us loads of money to do and obviously then that has to transfer to the people buying it so you sort of you're looking at like stuff like that. Like that jump, that jump was quite expensive. expensive. Yeah, exactly. The bottle openers it's like, were great, weren't they? Oh, we got yeah. fucking tons Totes of them. Are good, aren't they? Totes, Totes are always good. Totes are good. Tour t-shirts are always good. Yeah, it's 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 like I say, it's, it's so it's so hard to get right because, like I say, you put them on and he is right. Even now, like he was saying, like especially when you start out, but like like bands touring now, like the merch sales are like they they massive, like they help out massively. Blossoms and charcuterie board. <laughs> That's it why it's such, a, it's such a shame where venues actually take the like they take a percentage off fucking yeah. take venues taking a percentage off merch selling fees is fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous. Do you know what I mean because bands like like for example when we go on tour we'll have a merch seller who comes in and it's their job to sort of like pay to be all the merch day. yeah do it you pay them a day rate and you pay them uh, very anyway. important to have a good seller as well I yeah think. exactly yeah mm. and you pay that person then you go in these venues and these venues are like 
letting you use their space, but they're saying, oh no, you have to use our person and they take a merch commission. But you're not taking a commission of the bar that night or you're not taking a commission of anything else. You've paid to play that venue anyway. So it's, an, it's a joke that they take. And you know what I mean? Well, I know, I know uh, Burgess has been on about it again, from the Charlatans. He, he mm. spoke about it quite a lot saying like, it's outrageous, especially for starting out bands. But I, do, I think merch fees are... Of a joke, personally. Yeah, we should just get up with those who sell fake ones outside. <laughs> I don't mind the people that sell fake merch. You have some good designs. Well, they do sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've got outside the Apollo. Your so dad's on a few snide ones I've seen. I'm like, where's he got that from? <laughs> snide. Yeah. He's so yeah, he's so, it's, it, Cash, it's quite funny. Isn't it? Oh, I've got one here. That's one now. So Jemima Murray. Hello, I saw Tom and Joe at Declan McKenna concert in Manchester and one of the I was one of the girls who asked you for a photo oh hello I wanted to ask you how you find the concert so me and Tom went to Declan McKenna the other day how was that it was good Good. it was good it was like a Declan messed with me like dead last minute Um, because initially we were meant to be afterthought in the, we were meant to be in the studio do you know what I mean on the Friday on the Friday and stuff so he was just proper last minute and he was like oh like you, you two about and he was like oh shit yeah like, do you know what I mean we'll pop down so we drove, drove down actually Nice. Both didn't drink. Really good. It's good to see that clip. He had um, these big like mountains on stage. The stage set. Yeah, the stage set was great. That's the level that that you get to, don't you? When you're you're, like scoping all the other shit. Like, how have they got that? It's undercover, wasn't it? This was, I thought, was interesting as well. He played Brazil second. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He said he'd done it the night before in um, Dublin. And he he, he enjoyed it. He was saying that. It was like, it's a bold move. Did he have a guy called Eli Smart supporting? No. Wonder Horse was supporting. Oh, were they? Yeah. Oh, were they? I missed them. I missed them. Oh, I like I've them. got one of their tunes on one of my players. I really like them. Yeah, but um, they uh, yeah, he played. But he was he was, he was saying to us, he's like Brazil's like obviously his biggest streaming song and stuff. But he was like, but it's it's like a sing along. It's not like it's not a crowd mad. And he wants yeah, yeah they don't mosh to. Do you it. know what I mean? He wants obviously when you want to end on a gig. That's so he's like, it's good to do it for. I suppose like we like we play girlfriend earlier on in the set or did last time. It's like a good song. Everyone knows it. Do you know what I mean? But then, like, it's not like you don't necessarily go mad to. I think it's funny that people mosh the Charlemagne, you know. <laughs> well, 102 BPM, man. Fucking yeah, but it's, it's quite a bizarre good jumping, tune. Not, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not on paper. It isn't a moshing tune. Like, do you know what I mean? It's not like a fast. It just gets people going. I wonder but if people I wonder, just you know, mosh to it. I wonder if I wonder if it's something to do with it because, like, Brazil, the main hook isn't a riff; it's the vocal line and it? it's the melody. But like. Charlemagne, it's the riff. And I wonder if it's something to do with that, the correlation of like I think singing melody and a and a hook. Do you know well, what I mean? No, but, the, like... the, but the riff is the vocal melody. The riff's quick though as well. Yeah, but I mean, the riff's quick and it kicks off from the start like all guns firing. True, it? yeah. Whereas Brazil, he builds that tune. Yeah. It doesn't like kick off like, it's but, not chilled, is it Charlemagne? But no, yeah, no, no we, we, we absolutely. It's peculiar. Oh, we absolutely it's a mad it. tune, isn't it? Steel pan, steel drum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got another one here. That's one, man. From Toby Lead Bitter. Lead Bitter. Lead Bitter. Bitter. Uh, all right, lads. Love the all podcast. Right. Thank you. Thanks, you. Been a fan for a long time. Thank you. <laughs> Can't remember if it was Chaz or not who had the issue of buying a jacket and it smelling of BO. Was it you, no, Tom? it was me. Anyhow, the best way to get rid of Anyhow, it is here we go. buy some vodka, spray it, with those garden centre spray bottles, leave it to air out, oh, yeah. and then get. It. Am I putting the vodka in the garden spray bottle? Yeah, yeah. So put basically put vodka in a spray bottle. Right. Spray it. Let it air dry, and apparently Bob's your uncle. I'm gonna try that. What's he called? Any particular vodka? Glens. Rocco, Jocko, Rocco, <laughs> Coco. He didn't say. He didn't say what uh, what vodka. I imagine. I imagine a more pure vodka would be better. But sound. I'm gonna try that. Um. There's different variations of BO though. Like there's a couple I don't mind. Browned in BO. Go on, Miles, you can read this one out. Last one now. Pubcast has got me through a marathon, hopefully. Who's it by? This is by Finn Coughlin. I thought it was good because you've you started running, haven't you? Yeah, not a fucking marathon though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lads. Exclamation mark. How's it going? Question mark. <laughs> Fucking don't be a dickhead. If this gets read out, I'll be listening mid Manchester Marathon on Sunday the 14th. Oh, well, nice. You can do it, mate. Yeah, go on. Final push. You can do it Keep right going. now, please. <laughs> Look at the bin and get to the next bin. That's what I do. 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. Your technique when running is the, the visual cues. I'm going to get to that bit. Okay, I've got to that bit. I can do it. I can go oh, to like that, that bit. I like that. So visual, when you're running, you're do you not, do you not do visual cues when you're knackered? Heart rate's 180. Fox, look at that. Get to that bit. Now I'm no. going to get to that, the next bit. No. I've already got it. when you're running outside. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, outside, yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I've started running outside now. I have. Right. I just. Are you using new trainers? Yes. They are good? not oh. fucking waterproof at all. They don't say they're waterproof. No, but it's trail running, isn't it? Yeah, but they're not. They're not ever waterproof. Oh, but, well, I know now. Anyway, well, in terms of comfort, how are they? Oh, amazing, bouncy. Right. Okay. Right. Anyway, moving on. So you can do it. Um, the podcast has helped me through uh, long training runs, uh, though the last few months where I've been running past people, pissing myself, laughing, and getting funny looks. <laughs> Sorry about I that. Might, I might give that a go. You know. What's I listen to podcasts. I run. Mm. run. First saw you guys in Fibs in York, possibly wow. 2015. Wow. Great for heaters. Yeah. Oh. Did, do, you remember, do you remember that we used to love going there? It's like, did he make was, the fajitas? Yeah, yeah. There's a guy called Jono who was like the promoter. In do you remember house. we used to, I don't know if he's still there actually, Fibbers. No, I don't know he's gone. But it was, one of the, it was one of the like small, what cap jacket it is? 500? A couple hundred, if that. But it was one of them venues where it had like, it made you feel fucking well important because it had like a dressing room with like a walk on that it didn't have boss. to go through the crowd and that. Do you know what I mean? It was like. Yeah, it was great. I loved playing there. I can remember the stage really vividly. Yeah, I come with the wood at the back. Yeah. yeah so yeah. he's seen us there and many, many since. So keep smashing it. Thank you. Good I luck, mean, mate. I've already done this. Good luck. He's requested what I've already done. He said, I'd love some motivational words from Miles to get me through this run. Come on, Miles. Come on. Give him, come on. Give him some. He just, think he, about he, it. He just, do you know what you need to do? It's mind over matter. Do you know what I mean? Keep going. Think of Russ Cook doing fucking 70k a day. If he can do it, you probably can't, but just keep going. <laughs> um, I want to know more about your visual cues. So you're only knackered and you run him and you look in front of you and there's something there, just go, I, I, I just go, See, I just, do, just keep going to I that. I do something similar mm. with songs. No, I get to the end of the song. No, no, so I'll, I use songs that I like, if I'm familiar with the song. Yeah. For example, I am the resurrection. Mm-hmm. If I put that on, I know, right, it's eight minutes. Yeah, so if I get that, to the end well, of that tune, I'm like, I must be near. Like, I'm going well, six, no, no, I'm near. I'm eight minutes works, ahead. It works the other you know way around. It, it does me in that because when I'm on a treadmill, I put on like some Faithless or Trance or something, and if I put the same song on, because I go a bit like routine based with it. Like, there's a song by Faithless. It's like it's called Salva Mayor, and it's like five mi- like eight minutes long, right? And it gets like three songs in one. And if I get to the middle bit and I'm more knackered than I was the other day doing it, I know I fucked it. Do you I know have what I mean? a mad one with songs. Nothing to do with running. Go on. <laughs> what? When I when I had when I'd completed my orthodontic treatment for <laughs> for teeth straightening. Yeah. I had my teeth professionally whitened, and that it was four nice. fifteen minute UV um, bursts with a m- massive industrial machine. Didn't I have your teeth whitened? Yeah. And when you haven't them finished. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky gun. <laughs> I listened to Chameleon by Herbie Hancock four times because wow. it's 15 minutes long. So each 15 minute thing you just was like, I just because I, I knew that them, and I fell asleep at each time with this giant machine in my mouth with UV light in it. I, I, went, to, I went to the dentist yesterday. How was that? 60 seconds in and out, 50 quid. Because I've got all right teeth. I need, I need to call a dentist. That, you remember when that filling mm. came out on a curly whirly at oh. Dublin? I've still not saw it. I, I think I'm, I need, I need, my teeth are fucked, aren't they? Like, Got the tooth at the front, which is like get get well, dentures, man. Yeah. Crap. Well, I've, I've actually just recently started flossing and using mouthwash because I thought I convinced myself that I had tooth decay, but really it's just flossing. You need to get it done. Yes. Yeah. Never floss, but I floss now. So I've got been, water flossing through it. days. Water right. Pick. Anyway, this is yeah. That's, that's, off. that's what he's not. It's like a so, t- little. Sorry, let's talk about last, water last paragraph from him. Yeah. Is also the last paragraph from me. Go on then. And all of us, he said, and would also. Love to shout out my little sister, Moya. Is that how you say it? M-O-Y-A. Yeah, yeah Moya. 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 Oh, it's a really nice name, Moya. Yeah, Moya. It's nice. We both listen to the podcast as soon as it's out every week Aww. and spend the day texting each other quoting bits that have been made us piss ourselves. So thanks for spending the Thank time. Thank you. Oh, that's really Put nice. Put a pod out each week and we genuinely look forward to it. Big love, Finn Coughlin. Didn't it make it all worth it, Thank Miles, you. all the editing? Yeah, sorry. Go on, hit a jingle and tell them where people can email in. So, if you do want to speak to me, obviously. <laughs> uh, why, why don't you sing the jingle? Nah. It needs to be clear of that. <laughs> no, yeah. Does it though? Because we get them in. See ya. 
podcast. See ya. Blossoms podcast at gmail.com. It's a Blossoms podcast. It's a Blossoms podcast. It's a Blossoms podcast. Live from Blossoms HQ.